I'm Alan Trebek, Head of Health and Safety for MDL. Uh, we're here today at the RNLI College Pool uh, for a training session for some of our DOT Masters. As an employer, MDL takes the safety of its staff very seriously. We provide them with the best available training and equipment. So should you not have a life jacket on and you're a fairly poor swimmer, you're going to do what we call climbing the ladder. Regularly going under the water, trying to fight, trying to swim, not a very good swimmer. Okay, if you're rescued just prior to drowning, which is this box just here, how is that person going to present to you? So you're under the surface, you've taken on that water, you've inhaled it. If you rescue that person, or should this be you, how are you actually going to present to another person? Good morning, my name is Perry Simpson and I'm one of the sea survival trainers here at the RNLI's Lifeboat College in Poole in Dorset. Some time ago MDL came to us and requested uh, to put together a training package to give their guys confidence uh, if they fell into the water uh, from their uh, pontoons. We put together this package which consists of four hours worth of training, a couple of hours spent in the classroom doing some theory and then a couple of hours in the water building confidence in their kit, equipment and most importantly their life jackets. In the classroom, the guys are going to be covering things such as cold water shock and the effects of hypothermia on the body. Also what we're going to be looking at is uh, the use of flares, potentially, uh, and also how to put together a life jacket. So the guys go across to the Sea Survival Centre behind me and put together a life jacket which they're going to be using in the water later on. To use it, you can see that salt tablet's been used, it's dissolved. Once the salt tablet actually dissolves, it releases that spring which pushes onto the little saddle you can see in here, which then pushes the needle up which pierces the cylinder which essentially inflates your jacket. So it's fairly um, quick as to how quickly these, these automatically go off. Once that salt tablet's dissolved, it lets a little bit of water in there, the salt tablet dissolves, releases that spring and it pops up and inflates your jacket. This is one of many courses that our staff undertake. We use a number of service providers, including the BMF, the RYA, and the RNLI. And we're here today with the RNLI for our DOT masters to undergo training, both in the classroom and some practical work in the RNLI pool, and also in the water in Pool Harbour. The Lifeboat College is a fantastic training facility which we are very fortunate to have. It was built using the kind donations from members of the public. Now the reason why we have such a training facility is because only one in ten of our crew members come from a professional maritime background. So in order to successfully save lives at sea, we need to give them the right skill, uh, skills to do the job. In addition to crew training, we're also able to conduct commercial training and we're delighted to be able to support the MDL in the training of their crew members here at the Lifeboat College. Hi, uh, my name's Darren, I'm a dock master at Queen Anne's Batcher Marina. Uh, I found the course really good, really, really interesting and quite cold, but all in all, a good day. I thoroughly re recommend it. Uh, Alan, I'm Lee, day dock master from Ocean Village Marina. Lee, which part of the course did you find most useful today? Just the experience of getting you know, all geared up, getting into the cold water, just getting a feel for what it's really like to get in there and get on with it. 